Hi guys, so today I want to do a bit of a different video because I'm starting to get a little bit fed up of how much incorrect information is circulating around the web. So today, probably one of the hottest topics ever, um, let's talk about carbs. Okay, I think over the years the truth about carbs have been twisted so badly to sort of suit the needs of the marketing campaigns that it is time I'm untwist it. <laughs> okay, so let's start talking about the digestion process, okay, because that's where it all begins, okay? So, when you eat carbs, whether it's pasta, rice, your body will break it down into glucose. And in simpler terms, glucose is um, simply sugar, you know, little small sugar units, sugar molecules that travel around your body in your bloodstream, okay? Now, when they are broken down into glucose, they will travel through your small intestine and there's two things that can happen, okay? Now, the first thing is your body will use it as an energy source, okay? Carbs, glucose, sugar is your body's primary source of energy, okay? So whatever you're doing, it will first grab uh, carbs, okay? Now, the second thing that can happen is if you have too much too much, let me emphasize, too much sugar in your bloodstream, then it gets converted into fatty acids and stored in your liver. So yes, so the truth that the carbs can make you fat is true, but just hear me out before you jump to conclusions, okay? The glucose stores in your liver and your muscles can be reverted, that whole process can be reverted when your body needs energy okay so say if you're if you're exercising and you need energy the first thing your body will want is carbs okay glucose sto stored in the liver is used to maintain and normalize your blood sugar levels through a process of glycogenolysis okay i apologize it is a scientific term but it is almost impossible to talk about carbs or fats or protein without any sort of science but anyway Glycogenolysis is a process where an enzyme will start breaking down your liver fat and the extra storage, essentially your body fat, it will start breaking down your body fat in order to release those glucose molecules back into your bloodstream so they can be transported and delivered into your um, body tissues that need energy such as muscle and the process of that enzyme breaking down your liver fat and your body fat is closely regulated by two hormones and that's insulin and leucagen okay both of those hormones work together in order to regulate your blood um, sugar levels okay so insulin isn't a bad guy okay he's trying to do his best to make sure that your blood sugar levels are good you know and regulated so just to explain a little bit more insulin will reduce glycogenolysis if there is already too much um, sugar circulating in your blood whereas glucagen increases glucogenolysis in order to bring your sugar levels up. So yes, so just to clarify, yes, insulin, which is raised by carbs, reduces the breakdown of your body fat. That is true. And glucagen increases it, okay? That's just a hormone that sort of works in closely with insulin. Uh, and it gets triggered by the levels of your sugar in your blood, okay? So this is where the twist comes. Okay, 50 to 55% of your um, total daily calories should come from carbs, okay? When you think about it, that is a lot of calories. And an average person can store 2,000 calories um, of carbs, which is a lot of calories, you know? If, if you're a woman, I mean, I know if you're a guy, you eat a lot more um, calories, but if you're a woman, um, normally women tend to stay within sort of 1,600 to 1,000 to like 2,000 calories a day, you know, you're not going to eat all carbs because if you think about it, you will, you, or you should, have a mixture of protein, fat, you know, you'll have rice with chicken, you know, you don't just eat a bowl of rice, 
okay? So the whole process of insulin and carbs inhibiting your weight loss is this tiny. This tiny. It doesn't happen if you just eat a portion of rice, okay? You can still have three to five meals that include carbs, okay? Um, and I know what's the next question that you're going to ask. Why do low-carb diets tend to work so much faster? Actually, they kind of don't, okay? Um, I mean, some people do respond better to, um, obviously, limiting carbs. It is body diets, in general, are body-specific, you, you know, whatever. But, generally, let me tell you this. Carbs, or glucose, okay, main, has three water molecules, okay? So, if you think about it, when you reduce carbs, you limit the amount of water and water retention your body's able to do. So, that's why in the first few days, you'd have lost weight. But, in reality, it's not body fat, it's not your actual weight, it's simply the water that you've lost as a result of limiting your carbs. I hope that this helped and I hope that this clarified and eat carbs please because your body needs it, your body needs carbs, fats and protein, okay? There shouldn't be no carbs, fat and protein, it should just be a balance of things, okay? That is how your body functions the best and this is what you should do. Okay. If you are training for muscle, do not reduce your carbs. Okay. When you are training, with, when you are exercising, trying to build your muscle, if you don't have carbs, your, your body will simply start breaking down your muscle. Okay. So, eat carbs.